Welcome back. Now time to talk some girls lacrosse. Steven Decatur was taking on Kent Island on Friday, and what a game this was. Lexi Van Kirk, she's going to have herself a day for the Seahawks. She's going to go ahead and get the goal right there, but that was just the beginning. An assist to Victoria Karavach, who scores this one. And then Van Kirk is going to find Logan Figs. She's going to fire one away. That would stretch the lead to seven, but here comes the Bucks as Gabby Beach circles behind the goal, turns and fires one into the back of the net, but Decatur, they just kept on coming. Kirkovich off the free position goal, gets the, gets the goal right there. Then Van Kirk would find Figs to go ahead and put this one away. Decatur gets the win 15 to 11, the final. Seahawks are bad, bad girls. Well, Easton was taking on Bennett last night. The Warriors would grab the early to this thing. Ellie Rosser had herself a game. Scores in traffic, then adds another one off a free position shot right there. A few minutes after that, Emma Skogland will get into the action as well. Bounces that one by the keeper off the free position shot. She's not going to miss very many of those. The Clippers were down but trying to hang around in this thing. Over at the other end, Juliana Sterling earns a free position goal of her own. Tried to claw their way back into this thing, but Easton just was not going to let that lead up. Skoglin, another of her scores right there. Easton's going to go ahead and roll on to the win. 15-7 to the final. Queen Anne's visiting Cape earlier today. Lions on the attack first as Taylor Shepard unassisted, getting a goal early. Cape's like, okay, I see you're unassisted. We're going to go unassisted as well. This one is Evelyn Shoot. She's going to go in and get the goal. The Delaware defending champs still at it. This next highlight is going to be Lizzie Frederick. She splits two defenders, gets the stick up and shoot, and that is going to be good. Kate led 5-2 to two at the half. Second half, they were looking for more, but Emily Carbaum is here for the, game, for the stop right here. She finished with a game-high seven saves on the day, but Kate, they got like 25 D1 players or something like that. They're hard to stop on that roster. Kaylee Thornburg with one more. They go on to win a close one, 8-6 to six the final. And time to turn it to some softball action. Snow Hill taking on Mandela. Base is loaded for Bailey Lambertson, but she strikes out the batter. Gets out of this jam that could have been costly. The Eagles and get their own bats going. Ooh. Olivia Welch sends this one down the left field line for an RBI double to score Anna Adams. But then it would be all Mardella from here. Maddie Catlin hits the comebacker. Aggressive base running by Bailey Littleton. She's going to go ahead and run home on that play. Then a couple batters later, Casey Goshorn pops that one to deep left field. Deep enough for a sack fly for Bam Bam. Cindy Gortson would score. Then they put this thing away as Taylor Baker scores off the bases loaded walk. Mardella gets the win 10 to 1 the final. Well, the Decatur softball team was taking on Bennett, and the Seahawks were already up one early before Jade Pontius comes up with the RBI single right there. That scored Sam Kafir right there and made it 2 nothing. The Clippers now looking for the answer. Caroline Seidel blasts one to left field. She gets on her horse for a triple, and Anna Malone would score on the play. Bennett then will go ahead and tie this thing up. Seidel comes on home off the pass ball right there, but Decatur's bats, well, they stayed hot the rest of the way. They pull away and they get a win 4-2 to two the final. Defending North Champs, North Carolina hosting Queen Anne's. Bulldogs already leading 5-0. Claire Thornton takes one to the wall right here. Bria Bishop come on home. She's going to make it 6-0. Thornton ending up with a triple. Queen Anne's would settle down. Liz Bradley would strike out the next batter. She would eventually get out of that jam there. Now, Bishop was on the mound for North High as well, and she was dealing on her own. Seven strikeouts allowed just two hits. Through a complete game, and she is also no slouch at the plate. Her bat was hot yes, uh, yesterday, and she had it in her hands. Sends one down the third baseline. Allison Ward scores. They pile more runs as North Carolina goes on to win 13 to nothing in five innings. And Easton hosting Kent Island. Easton's Caitlin Miles. She's going to single through the right side of the infield, and then Cammie Lines would come around and score right here. Then Lexi Kettering. She's going to let this one go. She flies out to deep center field, and Miles would score from third. Ken Island trying to get something started here. Alex Hall, she's going to get a single into right field. Ken Island, though, they're going to try to finish this rally, and this one's going to be sent into center field right here. And then Cameron Foster is going to come firing this one out. She go ahead and gets out at home. Easton wins 13 to 1 the final. Wow. It's got a, got a cannon. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad defense right there. Yep, and we're going to go ahead and take another commercial break, but coming up next, we're going to talk some final four action and how these teams fare up against each other. My name is Paige Flyer, and I'm the pitcher from Cambridge South Dorchester High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.